Andrea. <laughs> that was anti dramatic. Yeah, let's eat some snacks. Hi guys, so welcome back to the vlog. Um, happy Sunday, and specifically happy Easter Sunday. Um, it's not your typical Easter when you're in Vietnam because right now it's 34 degrees. So, we still want to do what you should do on Easter, which is stuff your face all day. But we're not going to do it with chocolate because it melts far too much and gets messy and isn't very nice. So, what we're going to do instead is go to the supermarket, find ourselves some crazy Vietnamese snacks that we've never tried and they'll probably be gross. But we're going to do it for you so you don't have to try them um, if you come to Vietnam and you'll know what they taste like. So we've got this crazy original idea that no one's ever done before to do a Vietnamese snack taste test. I know that's never been done by anyone ever. <laughs> and today I'm gonna to share with you my favorite Vietnamese snack. Snack review. That's right, we're here in Viet Vietnamese snacks because <laughs> totally original idea. Um, however, the only problem is we don't want to spend too much money because we're trying to save up. So we've put a limit of 200,000 dong, which is this much. So we've got to see how much we can get with just that. That's only about less than $10, about $8 or about five pounds. Shiv just keeps going lower and lower. So I'm kind of like crouching at this point. Well, my <laughs> Okay, let's go. So we just stopped here and like a little road in Taodian to film this little segment but it's so nice and tranquil and it feels so Vietnamese. There's some guys fishing over here. A little bit of fishing going on and everyone's just chilling out. I could sit here all day but I won't because I need to eat snacks. Supermarket. So in Vietnamese supermarkets they tend to have like a really big baked goods section and they tend to be kind of gross as well. So we'll have a look in the bakery see if we can find anything worthy of this vlog. They all look good. This is gonna be very fun if they try like a cream Danish. Yeah. That stuff looks too nice and normal. We're going for the gross stuff, so all oh, this is looks more promising. This piece of baked goods looks like it's got fur on it, so <laughs> that's definitely going on the list. <laughs> That one is green tea matcha, red bean matcha. See, the ironic thing is I'd actually really love this. Well, exactly, but it's Mochi also, is mochi is Japanese. Kind of a, yeah, Japanese thing. So no, we can't get that, that's um, breaking the rules, just boy. get that for like after the vlog. <laughs> Here, we've got two more things from the biscuit aisle. Yeah, we'll tell you about them later. Everything in the supermarket is Japanese. What's going on? It's supposed to be in Vietnam. So we're just getting some regular shit so it doesn't look like we're just weird people that yeah. buy just a crap load of snacks. I actually need this stuff though. <laughs> this is what your life's like when you're a failing YouTuber. You have to wash your own clothes. <laughs> but I'm thinking if we put some detergent and stuff in there, it looks like we've come out for a regular shop mm -hmm. and got a load of snacks I on the way. Just have really weird taste. <laughs> yeah. Okay, we're done. So we didn't keep a running teller. But we're pretty sure it's going to be under 200,000 dong. But we'll see. Yeah, we'll show you the receipt. It might have gone slightly over. How much was it? Well, 230, and that was included in my washing stuff, so I'm pretty Oh, yeah. So we just got some change from that, that supermarket, and we got these notes that we've never seen before. That's 200 dong. Which now, is. They've made. 10 pence, no, 8 pence into a note. No, it's less than that, surely. No, because 300k is a pound. So 30,000 30, is 10 pence. No, no, 300, oh no, 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 30k is a pound. So 3k yeah. is 10 pence. So 2... 2k, so 300 would be 1 pence. Oh yeah. So that is 
a like a half a pence Absolutely in a in a note. That is a waste of paper. When they and get this five hundred, it gets put in a drawer because nobody likes it. This is why there's no trees left in the world. Exactly. So we're back from Big C and we're in the aircon. Thank God. It's 34 degrees outside. We've got our snacks arranged very precariously behind us. We have, and we've also got the receipt. So, we aim to spend 200k. Gesturing your spoons, aren't we? <laughs> but then we got sidetracked buying um, washing stuff detergent. Gotta wash your clothes, aren't you? So, total it came to 233. <laughs> Minus uh, 55. What's that? 185 or something, I don't know. Minus 14. 107 F. So he spent approximately 170,000 dongs. It's a lot of dongs. But it's um, not a lot of cash though. <laughs> yeah, so that works out as, I don't know. About six pound British, which is we'll like. We'll put it in the vlog, we'll edit it in, in here. post. Here yeah. it is. Here or here. Wait, let me give space for it, here it is. Okay. Okay, so we're hoping that we'll like the taste of all these because it only costs us £6 and we usually spend like £15 when we can't buy snacks because yeah. we buy like really expensive stuff. Yeah, because that's the thing about Vietnam. If you buy like Western stuff like Cadbury's or I don't know what else is there, Hershey's or something, uh, it costs like a fiver per bar. But this sort of stuff all costs us that much for everything. So cheap. So let's start in the bakery section. Oh, really? I really don't want to, but I want to get out of the way to start off with. So, we'll just start with a cupcake over there. Oh, let us have a look at this. So, when we went in the bakery section at the supermarket, they didn't have any English names on things, but I kind of know what this is already. So, it says Muffin Trung Mui. Mui? Possibly. If you're Vietnamese, if you're Vietnamese you can tell me that's wrong. I probably must pronounce <laughs> it, but it's that. Yeah. And I know Trung is egg, okay? And you think, oh, egg in a muffin, that's fine. You bake a cake with an egg all the time, it's not a big deal. It's a big deal. It's a huge deal. Yeah, because you bake a cake, an egg, in a muffin. Yeah, with an egg. You don't slap one on top of it. <laughs> okay. So that's what that looks like. So the thing in the middle, I think, is a dried up egg yolk. Jeez. And then the fur, what I can only describe as fur. <laughs> if my food had that on in England, I'd say that's off. It's growing mould. But I think it's something called chicken fluff. Mm. Could be chicken floss, could be pork floss. Don't want to take a full bite out of it, so I'm going to go and get a knife and cut it in half. Try this, just try this first, straight away. There you go. It's chicken and it's floss it. Really? I was expecting a well strong reaction. But okay, strangely sweet though. <laughs> That's what I'm going to say. I'm going to get a knife, we're going to cut it in half. Well, that's the revelation. Oh wait, I thought that was cream. <laughs> it was just the thing. It has got some sort of orange jelly on top though. But isn't that the egg? Oh my god, that is... But yeah, she's right, she just tried to so cut it. So the egg is solid <laughs> and just squished the whole thing. <laughs> so dense. She just tried to cut it and it kind of squished like you'd imagine. Like so, okay. trying to cut jelly. I'm not excited. I'm not excited after cutting it. This looks scary and disgusting. Oh, it's a proper egg yolk. Right, look at this, good. look. So it's a proper egg yolk, crumbly, part boiled egg yolk. Looking yeah. forward to it. Enjoy. Okay. I've got it stuck to my finger, so I'm just gonna I'm go for it. Seriously, I'm regretting this now. You've got all in? No, not yet. So. I just got a bit without the fur. Often, what we buy muffins from Big C, but just like regular muffins, and they're really tasty. So the, I just <coughs> tasted a- When the egg hits your god. Oh my no. My god, I need that Coke. Wait, we bought some Coke to help get it down. So I've got a little bit with the egg in. Hopefully it's not absolutely disgusting. <laughs> oh, it's got a very strong flavor. I'm just gonna sort of dare me. Yeah. All of it, all of it, you ready? It's got fur, it's got egg. This is a bone. There's a bone in mine. Ew. I swear that's a bone. Go. Mmm. <coughs> no. No work. No work. You just spit. Don't spit on the vlog. Don't spit on the. Oh, he spat on the vlog. Okay, so weird chicken floss egg muffin. Disgusting. Let's move on and hope it gets better for me. <laughs> okay, so the next one from the bakery section. We're starting in the bakery section because for me it's the scariest section. 
like these have been fresh baked today so they're not like mass produced stuff they're gross this one actually though i thought looked kind of nice it actually does it looks some sort of creaminess and it's a donut I so i know it is a donut it says because it's got donut the word for vi donut in vietnamese is donut sometimes it's ban donut because they like to put ban before everything means bread no i like holding it like i this. feel like it's gonna come. and then um it says chem on the packet and chem is cream so i just need to get it so it's there. cream it's a cream donut wait 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 though <laughs> Donut. Donut. Ah. So this <laughs> oh, is. Please don't do that. <laughs> right. This is some sort of cream donut, but there's also some unidentifiable yellow, yellow stuff shit. on it. So should we just like lay we... in the trampoline? Yeah, let's yeah? lay in the trampoline. Okay. I was gonna say that. Three, as well. two, one. Oh, that's not good. Oh, not quite laid in a tramp. I actually quite like it. Hmm. But that's cream it's not, nice. It's not the worst donut I've ever eaten. Okay. It's a little bit messed up. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. um, All over the couch. The yellow stuff, I'm not sure what it is. It doesn't really taste of anything. Lemon. Le I think it's lemon. Lemon? Not, not as bad as I expected that one. Yeah, I, I'd eat that. I'd actually yeah. eat that when it's fogged over. And that it. cost, let me find out how much it cost us. Donut, donut, donut. <sighs> that was 10,000 dong, which is about. 20p? 30p? 30p. That's so, not bad. Pretty cheap. Band donut rating out of 10. Mm, five. Really? No, higher. Because we won't, trust me, we won't get anything better. Well, the egg tart was a one. The egg tart was a zero. Yeah. That is an eight. That is a solid thing. Okay. An eight. Why don't we wash the band donut down? Yeah. With, with our some, third thing. This is our third thing. It's some sort of pineapple drink. But if you can see that, it's got like an alien thing going on yeah it looks a bit like jelly but they're calling it a basil seed drink so apparently those little black things inside are like basil seeds they look cool but it does remind me of those things that you used to get when you were a kid that like they were in a little egg and they said they'd hatch babies and they never did aliens yeah those aliens. little gooey <laughs> aliens that's what it reminds me of a little bit but i like pineapple i've never had a basil seed before that's pretty nice. Let's go for it. Let's open it up. I reckon it'll be pretty thick. Okay, I'm gonna have to just use the old top thingy because my hands are a bit. Yeah, I'll do Fail. it. Fail. Ah, big strong man. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Ready? You wanna go first? There you go. Mmm. Nice. It tastes like a like a, pine, a thick pi a thick pineapple jelly drink. I do being a bit colder to be honest. Mm. That's not bad. That ain't bad at all. Mm. Could get used Could to that. Could get used I was going to say. It does taste a bit like syrupy though, like not, not real pineapple. I don't know. Yeah, but it's... that's the problem with a lot of drinks here. They're just like too sweet. Mm. You know, too much of a flavour. Whereas you want it's like, you get a fizzy drink and, and if it's like a grape flavour or something, it just tastes too grapey. Yeah. Yeah. yeah but Definitely, if you're in Vietnam and you need a little bit of refreshment. Seven out of ten. Get yourself a basil seed drink. Yeah, let's move on. Okay. Save that for later. So, shall we go for something that's not going to completely gross us out? Yeah, what about taro things? Um, yeah, let's go for taro things. These are called Chu Hai Ha Kau Kwai Mon. That was Thai. That was Thai. Uh, it it was definitely nice. Nice. I was just being racist. <laughs> okay. okay, so they're just little, oh, they feel like a bit like chewy sweets and from the picture, at first when I picked them up, I thought that they were going to be ham flavoured because the picture looks like, like a big Christmas ham or something, then I realised it was a sweet potato, like because they have the purple sweet potatoes here in Asia. Mm -hmm. So, That's inside is like. meant to be like gooey, I think. Oh, the focus isn't working, but it's basically a purple sweet. Yeah? Mmm. Oh. I expect it to be a hard sweet, like a soft boiled sweet, but it's not. I'm feeling it. It tastes like potatoes. Yeah, it does. Do you want your sweets to taste like very, potatoes? Very savoury considering it's a sweet. No, so why can you ask yourself when you go buying sweets? You want like potato flavour sweet or just sweets? It does taste, it tastes like chips. 
piece of that sweet potato fries. I'm gonna give that a three. I'm not, not feeling that. Oh, I, just, I can't even just follow it. Let's move on. Got my trusty sick bag. That's spitting things out. You have to swallow them. That's what she said. Hey! <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god. Oh my <laughs> okay. Okay, next, let's stay on the same theme of sweet potatoes. Now, I've been actually wanting to try these for ages because they look pretty cool. Mr. Potato. So, like, Mr. Potato. I don't know how I'm saying it in Japanese accent. Also, not a Japanese accent. Being racist again. Um, but they're basically purple Pringles. Sweet potato flavoured Pringles. So let's try it. Well, are you sure you want to pop though, Matt? You know what happens when you pop, Just don't you? Just stop. Exactly. Aww. <laughs> Mmm, smell okay. Actually, I've had like sweet potato crisps before. They look cool as. And look how purple they are. Oh, look how purple that is. My God. Do you know with Pringles, the trick is you're supposed to put- Just eat it. This, Just like, eat the, it. the concave side down on your tongue. That's what they're made for. They're made to mimic your tongue. Yeah. Uh, they are fit. I really like them. I don't really they taste, think they taste like chips again. I've said that twice now, but they taste like fries. Okay. Yeah, she's saying potatoes taste like potatoes. I'm what I'm saying is, you know, sweet potatoes? Tastes like sweet Believe potatoes. Believe it or not, they taste like sweet potatoes. But, sweet potatoes works as a Pringle. Mm. I'll be getting them all the time from now on. They are the nicest crisps that I've eaten for and ages. I mean, benefit the non GMO. No artificial non -GMO, colors. Non GMO, no artificial colors. Mr. But, Potato, you're so healthy. Hang on a minute. Are you how can that be no artificial colours? There's no way there's a sweet potato that's naturally that purple. Mm. Good stuff? Yeah. Move on. Moving on, moving on. Next, let's stay in the crisp region. So we picked these up. We said they looked a little bit like popcorn. And mm -hmm. this is another thing that was fully Vietnamese writing. And we don't have a clue what it is. Nui Chien. Now, I've got a feeling that chien might be corn. Mm. It looks like corn. Feeling because of, I know this thing called bot chien, and at first I thought it was fried food, but what I think it is actually is it's fried corn. Uh. So, I reckon there's some sort of corn snack. So well, what, if chien, chien could mean fried, though. They smell a fried. little bit corny. Mm. And they don't look that scary. You want to get one? Yes. Get a few. You tried it already? Yeah. Hmm. Oh no, they're damn good. Oh, the spice there? Mm, they are. Oh, nice. I'll be buying these again. Mm. Wow. They're like a crunchy corn snack, but they've got spice on them as well. They're like chili flavoured. Bean bean. Bean bean be killing it. Bean bean be smashing it. Get some of these. Wow, chef. How nice of them. Really nice. Good. What are you giving them out of 10? 10. Absolutely 10. 10. Uh, wait, we didn't say what we gave them sweet potatoes. Sweet potato, Pringles. 9. 9 out of 10. Nui Chien. Nui Chien. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. Uh, these guys, 2 out of 10. Terrible. No good. Okay. What else? Okay. So those were really good. And then we're still going strong. So let's try something we bought, but it's not technically Vietnamese. Flavoured Kit Kats are something that you can get all over Asia. But I think they come from Japan. But I think Kit Kats in general come from Japan. I think that's why they've got them. But Kit Kat. Kit Kat. So I've got um, the green tea one. Now, Yes, that's not very weird and strange. You can get the green tea Kit Kats everywhere in Asia. Like, I'm pretty sure you can, can even get them in the UK now. Like the matcha Kit Kat. But this one isn't just matcha, okay? This is matcha and red bean. Now, Matt, what's my favorite flavor combination in the whole entire universe? Matcha and red bean. Exactly, so I couldn't pass this one up. So, let's take a break, you know what I mean? Take a, a break. Kat. God, this is like an advert for snacks. Before you're like, when you pop, you can't stop. <laughs> and I keep drinking this Coca-Cola, sponsored by Coke. <laughs> I, I wish, I it. wish Coke was sponsoring my videos. Okay, here you go. Wait, we should have snapped it. Uh, I know, I, right, I know. oh my God, she's, who snaps a Kit Kat that way, guys? 
when it's you share with a Kit Kat, oh. it's built to, to snap in half to share. You snaps it vertically, it's a cardinal sin. It's gone. Spiciness. I think that's one of the things we just said. Is it? I'm getting all the spice. It tastes like wasabi. Are you sure it's not wasabi? No. Much of a red bean. I'm going to be honest. I actually think that's gorgeous. As a lover of matcha red bean though. You don't like it? It isn't good. I must have to disagree on this one. Yeah. But you're eating it. Eight? Say six. Five or six. Right, so average score of? You do the math. Seven. I could eat, yeah, really I can't know. count. Can't believe you don't like them. Mm. Actually, you're getting a bit sick of vanilla. Okay, yeah. so the next thing we're gonna try is this collagen jelly. Now, this is not strictly a Vietnamese snack, it's just like Asia in general. I think it's made in Thailand, but they have them all over Asia, like when you ever go into a convenience store. And I actually eat them quite a lot because I really like them. Matt, you're not a lover of jelly though, are you? No, I feel like if you just look at the packet and stuff, it seems like something that was made for like kids, you know, like to be put in a lunchbox. Just feel like I'd feel stupid. Yeah. Eating that, walking down the street like. Because the thing that man. we do have them in England, but it's exactly that, like it's for kids. It's lunchbox. for kids, yeah, yeah. But these ones are not for kids, so. You right there, just drop it here. <laughs> Hot potato with the jelly, but um, no, these are vitamin jelly. So they, this one is a strawberry flavor, and it comes with vitamin C and collagen. So the healthy. You'll just Snack. see us get younger, get younger. Yeah, and they're only thirty-five calories, which is pretty good if you want like a nice little snack. So Matt, you taste it first. So okay, I know what I'm going to think about this. Yeah. I'm going to think because this is what I always think: jelly should not come in squeeze form when it's a solid. It should be drunk. See, but they're quite watery though. It's, it's not very, very jelly-ish. Jelly I actually like, think... I feel like it's jelly mixed with water. Flavour's fine. Just tastes like a strawberry strawberry juice with like bits in. But what are you gonna, what are you gonna say that I was gonna say? Should we left out the fridge for too long? Because <laughs> it's like too watery. It's, no, it it's no longer jelly. Warm. It's like melted jelly. Usually when we buy this though, it's in the fridge. Yeah. And we bought it from Big C and it wasn't in the fridge. And you'd be like, oh, that's because it's not supposed to be. But... I wouldn't put it past Big C to leave things out of the fridge that's supposed to be refrigerated. Yeah. One time we bought pasta from there, it had bugs in it. Oh, we did. But anyway, it's a decent snack. Mm. And um, if you want something healthy, squeezable, and strawberry flavoured in Vietnam, go for these bad boys. Yeah, there's not really any other option if that's your criteria. <laughs> okay, let's move on to... Uh... Oh wait, we need to give it a rating. Oh. How much? Six out of ten, I'm going for. Yeah, I'll give it a six. Next thing on the agenda. Okay, these are Milo Nuggets. I know the focus is out a bit there. Um, yeah, there we go. So basically, the reason I wanted to buy these is because this is a, I like a, this is a thing that I associate with Vietnam. I haven't seen it. I don't think I saw it in Thailand. Maybe it's in Southeast Asia in general. But it's, I'm pretty sure. We definitely don't have them in the UK, they might have them in the US. But I'm pretty sure here, it's like a breakfast thing. But it looks nice, because it kind of looks like chocolate. And it's like See, powder... what I think it is, is a, is a chocolate powder, and it gets used in various formats. But, it, but they definitely have it in loads of cereals. It's like Milo cereals. Yeah, they've got Milo cereal, they do Milo milk. Yeah. They do Milo chocolate nuggets. Mm. So we got a bag of the nuggets because they were only 10,000, which is pretty cheap. And we're mm -hmm. going to try them because even though we've seen it a lot, they also sell like Western cereals for the same price, like um, Cocoa Pops and Fruit Loops. So we've never actually bought Milo or any sort of Milo products. So they just look like chocolate bits. But if you look at what they were advertised to look like, they were supposed to be like little cubes like that. Matt, show them what you got. But this is... <laughs> so, part of me thinks that they might... Oh, oh can't see us. Uh, part of me thinks that they might have melted and then and then reformed. reformed possibly. Because they look a little bit strange. They look kind of nice though. They yeah. look just like chocolate nibbles. They smell just like chocolate nibbles. What's a chocolate nibble? And, as expected. Wow, it's nice actually. Now fam, it's like, it's Tastes really... Like cheap chocolate. Crumbly and powdery though. Like if you're from the UK and you've ever had like a lion bar, you know what, what they call honey, those honeycomb bars? Crumbly. 
crunches. Crunches, yeah. Crunch. It tastes like a cruncher, but imagine a cruncher that was a little bit less cruncher. For me, like it's really soft cruncher. It tastes like a chocolate finger, but double chocolate. Well, it's got like a, I've it's not... got like a crumbliness to it that a chocolate finger doesn't have. Yeah, it's like a biscuit though. Mm. Actually. I, I'm a quite we'll get a, quite down a on this. We'll get down on we'll this. Get down. And I can see why they're working cereal because they've got that like, like cereal-y consistency, you know what I mean? I'm getting the crunchy thing now. Yeah. Like a chocolate cruncher. It's like a crunchy less without cruncher. the honeycomb. Good. Okay. Good? Yeah, very good. I'll give that a seven. I'll give that a seven. Eight. Eight. And we've just got two snacks left and one, I bought because I knew that I'd like them, so we're gonna leave them till last. And then we've got potentially the grossest of them all. So we knew that if we're making a Vietnamese snack taste test, we have to get something Dorian because you can't move in Southeast Asia without seeing a Dorian. So if you if you don't know what Dorian is, this is the first time you're hearing it. It's quite famous, but this is the first time you're hearing it. It's basically a fruit that, when it's in its full fruit form, it's like a spiky kind of like a pineapple-y looking spiky green thing. It's weird. And it's known as the corpse fruit because uh, to Westerners it stinks like corpses apparently. It smells like cheese or like like feet. Some people say it smells like feet. Yeah. And it's most, most Westerners hate it. I've never been able to bring myself to actually eat like Dorian in its raw form because not only have the, people told me so much about the smell and the taste, which is not something that really bothers me. I eat smelly and like minging weird stuff all the time, but texture, they always say that the texture is disgusting. Like, yeah, it doesn't have the texture of a fruit. It's like weird. Stringy so I've no. never brought myself to actually try it, but I have had Dorian candies. When we went home to the UK, oh. we bought a big bag of Dorian candies to share out. And they were disgusting. Other oh. than, Shiv's mum, Maxine, if you're watching this, I don't know why you like them, because they were gross. I swear my mum still got them on the side, like, <laughs> nibbling away at them. They were disgusting. In my opinion, they tasted, like, sick. Like yeah, vomit. yeah, definitely. So, with that in mind, we thought, let's buy ourselves another Dorian product. So, we bought a Dorian yogurt. So this brand, TH True, is the milk brand. So technically this is a Vietnamese product because this is a Vietnamese milk brand that's made this yogurt, but it is Dorian flavored. Now, you don't really like yogurt anyway, do you? I don't like yogurt at the best of yeah. times, so I'm definitely so, like Dorian yogurt. Um, this is probably gonna be Matt's worst nightmare, but we got our two giant spoons. We've got two yogurt, should we not just have one each? That would be gross. Well, I just, I doubt we're gonna go back for seconds. So. <laughs> well, exactly, so we might as well waste Oh, dear soon. me, it's really runny. It's like milk. The oh smell, my though. god, right, I've got to, can I just lift the camera up and show them how runny this is? This is a yogurt, right? Look it's at, like milk look at in that. a pot. Now that worries me, have we left it out of the fridge too long? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> but the smell, surprisingly, isn't that bad. If you've ever had like a pineapple yogurt, yeah, or like some sort of tropical yogurt, that's what it smells like, it's doesn't pineapple. it? Pineapple. Pineapple. Okay, but let's just try it. That, that consistency, all right, that, look at this. Yeah, a full spoonful. Oh my God. It's actually fine. To be honest. I can taste the feet thing. I can taste you get, like, the Dorian a, a flavor. aftertaste of blue cheese. That's what it is, it's an aftertaste. It's not the taste, initially I'd say people would say that Dorian tastes I like a bit like pineapple without the tartness. Mm. But then after that you get like a cheesy taste. But it's, it's kind of like... It's like pineapple oh, slash cheese. I, w I don't know if I'd choose it, but it's not bad. I mean, if I was desperate for some breakfast and I had no other yogurts left in the fridge. I'd go for it. Yeah, I quite like it. Well, that was a surprise, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah. Who knew? I'm going to make it more. <laughs> we can get some Dorian later. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Dorian yogurt, yep. rating out of 10. Um, Surprisingly. Just me. because it was such a surprise, I'm gonna give it like an eight. <laughs> yeah, just uh, <laughs> yeah. I'll give it an eight. I'll give everything an eight. <laughs> okay. Yep. And then now we get to treat ourselves. Now this isn't, let's be honest, this isn't Vietnamese. This is absolutely not Vietnamese, but it is my favorite Asian snack that I know of. And I can't wait to get to Japan because I'm gonna eat so much mochi. And in the supermarket here, they sell like, Korean and Japanese products are big across Asia, like you get them really easily and they sell them for the same price that they sell like Vietnamese products. So, 
We've start, we started eating mochi in Vietnam, didn't we? And yeah, we've had not really had a lot of it since. though, I would say. But it's not the kind of thing you can just like oh, shove it down your face though. It's like you have one and it's nice and that's it. Now I'm used to mocha in circular form. Yeah. But these guys, let's make it focus so they can actually see. These are in like finger form. Yeah. And mochi, if you don't know, is like a certain type of rice, mochi rice, and they hammer it down in like a pot and it comes into like a stretchy glutinous thing and then they usually put fillings in the middle of it like red bean which what we've got here is a common filling and then they put like powdered sugar on the outside of it mm -hmm. so let's have a little mochi and i'm sure i know already that i'm gonna like this i thought you're passing all that powdered it. sugar but mm. look it's kind of like stretchy like ricey material but it is Taste it. it looks gross, mm -hmm. but I'm pretty sure they're really nice. Mm -hmm. They are really nice. And in the middle, it's got red bean paste. Come on, I think in all the that middle. powdered sugar. Yeah, but these are actually. I don't think that's powdered sugar on the outside. I think that's flour, and therefore I don't think it's the best mochi I've ever eaten because it's got a flowery taste. It has got a flowery taste, but it's still really nice. It's got red bean paste in the middle. But red, I still like it. Red bean is one of our new favourite flavours. Like most people, I love still red like bean. It. Beans in in like England are something you put on a jacket potato mm. or with your sausages, but they're not like baked beans. They're like sweet beans. Mm -hmm. I mean, they're still they're kind of like kidney beans. Yeah, I think actually red beans and kidney beans are flavor. the same though. But something that they do to it makes them nice and sweet. Mm. Mm -hmm. I like that, but I don't. Did I, I, you know what? You know what? Controversial. What? Not as good as these things. Yeah. Which, by the way, in between taking those shots, we Googled to see if we could find out what Nui Gen is. Because we, we thought it looks like corn. I cannot find anything, it just comes up fried. So we don't even know what this is, but it's really good. So, was that your favourite? It's my favourite. My favourite, apart from the mocha, was the Mr. Potatoes sweet potato chips. They are really nice. Mm -hmm. So, if you want some advice, I would say if you're going to eat Vietnamese snacks, go for savoury snacks and not sweet ones. Mm -hmm. Because the savoury things that we bought have been really good. Don't miss out on your uh, basil drink, that was pretty alright as well. Yep. Anyway, we're going to go watch a film or something, eat our snacks, and have a nice Easter. Don't forget to like, subscribe, uh, and leave a comment because that really helps. Yeah. And also click the bell. Because then you get notified when we do new uploads. Yeah, if we do new uploads. No, we do not. <laughs> I'm do. joking. Okay. We're doing new uploads. All right. Bye. Bye.